Hello and welcome back to Endangered Animals colon the Philippines by Cubo Studios. So as you can see, we've been blessed by creative. So I think what this map wants you to do is to go out and find the endangered animals is what I'm trying to s I'm thinking, but I just want to really see how far this goes back really. So this is all built by them, which is amazing. I think we're going to just go and see what they've built. Um, I'm just mainly looking for natural structures right now. Damn, this is all built by them. Okay, this is getting a lot of points. There's just loads of nature now. It's, it's, I don't think there's any like hidden places we need to go to. It's just good seeing this all in depth. Oh yeah, I'm looking for an island. That's all I want. Just an island. So I think this would be the coast. That looks so beautiful. Look at that. This is a great place to review um, animals as well. Um, that's also I'm creative to see all the different... Um, coding oh no it's grass one is this part over here is that added in like um i don't think there's a block that dark unless it's the shoveled yes yeah, the shoveled dirt that's pretty cool though how they've done that this is a this is a better place to do animal reviews oh here 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 um should we go around the map let's just um i think we'll fly around it this is a massive map i'd love i think that's another thing that they could do they should put a map of how big this place is because it's massive there's so much stuff you could explore. Imagine if we were still in survival, it would take us years to get around this whole map. I'm going to class those tiny little things as islands here. Maybe we're just on a Philippinian island. That's what I'd like to believe, hopefully. Um, yeah, so just more and more islands, really. It does look really good, though. And it's massive. That's what's awesome about this. It just looks massive. Um, yeah, just nothing just for miles. Just this stuff. Um... Yep, yeah, just more. Na it, it still looks great though. I love it. Um, yeah, all like, it looks very naturalistic. I'm running out of things to say. If you've realised, you've got. Yeah, it feels. Um, I'm. I. I'm definitely not running out of things to say. That thing I just said was a lie. It feels like um very mountainous. All the trees. They've definitely done the trees right. I think maybe we should do tree reviews. Review every tree and all the maps. That'd be a great way. This one is definitely leading on the tree review. This is a new thing. Yeah. These trees look amazing. This is definitely a great place to stop and view all of the animals here. Um, yep, are we ready to stop? I think it's nothing but um, this kind of biome for a lot of time. We've got this massive river as well. The river looks beautiful. Okay, let's review some animals then. So, in the list, we have got... I think they're all going to be chin here. Um, okay, here we go. Ravenger... Half Eagle, Terroror, Warty Pig, Tarnisia, Flying Lemur, Stink Badger, Spotted Deer, A Shrew. I think this is coding. Let's just check. I hope it doesn't break the game. Yeah, that one's a bit weird. The path.name. Okay, the first one, the Philippinian Eagle. Pretty cool looking. Um, there you go. Um, have a little read of that. I'm not going to read all of it, but you can have a read. We're going to try and go through quite a lot. So throw your card out there. Next is the Tamaroru. Oh, it's those guys over there. Cute. Um, oh, we've already seen these guys. Um, yep, we've got an extra person. Next is the... Oh, not the warty pig. Oh, they look so horrible. Imagine like, touching that. It's all, like warty. Ugh. No thanks. Okay. Next is the Tarsier. I guess that's like a monkey. Um, world's smallest monkey. They look pretty big in my opinion. Flying lemur. I like all the sounds as well. Oh, that is cute. Look how small that is. That is so cute. Uh, next is the stink badger. These guys just look kind of sad. Um, the spotted deer. Just a deer, really. They're so good just to have around. Can you imagine if this was in actual vanilla Minecraft? And then the shrew. I love how they make the silverfish sound. That is the best. We're feeling very Filipino already. Okay, next one then. Um, stink badger, we've got up to shrew. we got the bleeding heart, the cockatoo, the porcupine, the turtle, the crab, the dove, the heron. The mouse deer hornbill. Okay, let's go then. The bleeding heart. Oh, that's oh, that's a pretty cool bird. Cockatoo. We've seen them. And the porcupines. They make a very weird sound. Oh, turtles. They pre look pretty cool. The crabs. I I think crabs are such a cool creature. And they, this you can do so a lot with them in stuff like this. Okay, uh, more fruit doves. The night heron. That we have spawned quite a lot of animals. The mouse deer. Those are pretty cool, actually. 
and these massive hornbills. It looks very lively. This was so like nice to see. I love this. Um, we've already come to an end. We'll review some of the box as well. We can't end up five minutes. Um, and then there's this stuff as well. These tiny little birds. Same kind of model as the first um, balloon heart bird. And the bear cat. Cute. That is all the animals, I think. So, there's also blocks like... Hmm, can you spot any Filipino looking blocks here? I'm just trying to have a sniff. Have we missed anything? Sockling straight. No, we haven't missed anything, which is good. Um, so, is there any other stuff that we've missed, like they've coded in or something? I'm just trying to see. Um, there's the mango. No, those are the three that we were given. So, I think we should start reviewing then. So, these models are probably the best animal models I've seen for quite a while. We haven't really done, like, model just reviews before. But these guys look amazing. They've got their own sounds, first off. Their own different, like, uh, for, I think for modelling, if you see with basic modelling, most of them have got the same, like, squares. But these ones are all different. Like, this guy's got a tail, whereas this guy's got, like, a bird shape. Then they've, even if they are similar, like the smaller birds, they've got different textures, which is great. They've also got extra stuff like the porcupines. I don't know how hard that is, but it looks like it's like the extra add-on. Map is probably the best thing I've seen. Let's make it day as well. It doesn't feel very free opinion right now. Um, map is a very nice looking thing. And yeah, I think that's it. The nature's really good. Go say Filipino animals is what we can say. So anyway then, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed a shorter episode as well. Be sure to like, subscribe, and me, and all these endangered animals, which you should save. We'll see you all next time, then. See ya!